Right now, an amazing sight along the Columbia River. This happened this morning. A giant ship carrying the pieces to a huge dry dock that will go in near Swan Island. Once it's done, it's going to be one of the largest dry docks in the whole world. Portland had a taxpayer built dry dock up until 2001. And then a series of unfortunate circumstances forced the owner to sell it. So why bring one back now? And what could this mean to the Portland economy? Well, Chris Woodard spent the day digging deeper into those questions. It's a, an amazing day for the company today. The size is hard to describe. A ship in its load dwarfing the tugboat alongside them. A load so big it barely fits below this railroad bridge. And earlier, the load actually making the huge Astoria Megler Bridge look small, <laughs> attracting spectators for miles. We had people up and down the river, uh, all the way from the Columbia River Bar, all the way to the St. John's Bridge. I found the only thing as big as the load itself, maybe the company's expectations for what it means. The jobs that we provide and the jobs that this creates for the Portland community are middle, middle class jobs. This load is a 960 foot dry dock. Once installed, the dock will lift massive ships out of the water and will allow Vigor Industrial to repair cruise ships, tankers, cargo ships. Two days for us to redo the blocks. So I asked about jobs and found that ability will create at least 130 jobs for the repair of two ships already waiting. They are a huge contributor to all of the business in Portland. But all of this may sound familiar. I learned the company sold a nearly identical dry dock in 2001 when times were tough. So I asked, what's different now and will these jobs stick? It's a little bit the shipping industry. Uh, it's definitely our, our company bouncing back. Out here now taking a live look at the Port of Portland. That sale back in 2001 rubbed some people the wrong way because that old dock had been built with 17 million in taxpayer dollars. So I asked the company today about that sale, why they sold it back then, and how we move forward. They say they're here now, this purchase now, $50 million of their own money to bring a dry dock in is proof they're committed to this community and that they're here to stay. Live in North Portland, I'm Chris Woodard for Coin 6 News.